to renew your strength I would like to highlight just four simple tr truths one make God the source of your strength not people not someone else don't wait for somebody to input strength into you don't wait for someone to change things in your life so then you feel better don't wait for oh once I get a house I'll be good inside once I'll get married I'll feel good inside once I get a car I will be strengthened on the inside that means that you're putting your strength in somebody else's hands make God the source of your strength in Philippines it says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me David says of God he says the Lord is my strength and my song Israel called their God by this name the strength of Jacob God wants to be your strength not your marriage not your family not your breakthrough not your finances not your good looks not someone else but God being your strength God spoke to Paul and he says Paul my grace is enough and it's made perfect in your weakness what that means if your spouse don't want to serve God don't depend on your spouse to serve God strengthen yourself in God if your children may be misbehaving don't let that take away your strength make God your strength that's number one number two how to regain and renew your strength and that is wait upon the Lord in worship in prayer in his presence it says in Isaiah those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength wait upon the Lord the same way a waiter waits on his customers in the restaurant they bring food to the customers bring God worship and just wait he will reset your strength on the inside he will reset something in you and you will come out the situation will be different your attitude will be situation will be the same your attitude will be different wait upon God let him reset you on the inside let him restore your strength let him restore your joy let him restore your peace let him renew you number three the third way to renew your strength is to pray in tongues pray in the Holy Spirit in Jude it says praying in the Holy Spirit by the by that we build our most holy faith in Corinthians it says that we encourage ourselves when we pray in tongues when we feel depleted when we feel discouraged when we feel empty one of the best antidotes one of the best weapons you have to strengthen yourself in God is to open up your mouth and pray in tongues you may say but I don't feel it that's the thing is you don't have to feel it it's a spiritual thing and spiritual things they just get activated by your choices and when you pray in tongues 10 minutes 15 minutes an atmosphere in your room will shift and an atmosphere in your spirit will shift and the situation might be the same but you will walk out different you will be like Moses walking down the mountain your face is shining you will be like Jacob who wrestled with God all night and then he's facing the same Esau except now he's seeing the face of God in Esau why because when you renew your strength something shifts in the spirit realm you're on your way to recovery when you renew your strength my God Woo. Jesus Woo. I feel it. the fourth way to renew your strength is speak to your soul don't live in your soul the way you renew your strength is when you remain in the presence of God you speak in tongues you say God you are my strength you are my source and then you have to speak to your soul don't live in your soul David speaks in Psalm 103 verse 1 he says bless the Lord O my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name in verse 2 he says bless the Lord O my soul and forget not all of his benefits David is talking to his soul and he's giving his soul a lesson he says remember he forgives all of your iniquities Oh soul, remember He heals all of your diseases. Soul, remember He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy. Soul, remember He satisfies you with good food. He renews your life like the eagles. In the other psalm, David speaks to his soul and he says, Soul, why are you discouraged? Why are you down today? Remember, I will yet praise God. I will trust in God. Soul, get up. See, most of us, we spiritual people who live in the soul we don't live in the soul we live in the spirit 
we speak to our soul so if your soul is not feeling good in the morning during the day listen give your soul some coffee give your soul some good food give your soul some promises and tell your soul everything is gonna be okay tell your soul praise God because he's gonna see me through tell your soul the God is the source of my strength speak to your soul don't let your soul speak to you you speak to it calm your soul down and say God has got this God is in control I don't know how we're gonna pay the bills I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow but my God will supply all of my needs according to his riches and your glory so soul bless the Lord soul bless the Lord and don't forget don't forget what he did before don't forget what God did before soul speak to your soul that's how you renew your strength I don't know exactly what David did to strengthen himself in the Lord he probably talked to himself he waited on God what I do know is something shifted he went from crying to being strong and then the scripture says this and David inquired of the Lord David does, didn't ask God for instruction until he received from God inspiration David did not ask God to speak to him until he made God his strength I want to highlight that very importantly God will not give instruction to those who have not trusted him as their inspiration God will not speak to those who have not made him their strength my proof for that in the same time David is asking God to speak to him and God is speaking back to David Saul King Saul at the same time is in the other territory facing Philistines and King Saul did not lose his family King Saul did not lose all of his possessions King Saul is facing a threat and the scripture says and Saul inquired of the Lord and God said nothing you know why because God doesn't want us to come to him for instruction first he wants us to come to him for inspiration first he only speaks to those who trust in him to make him their strength Saul never went to God and said God I'm hungry I'm empty I'm scared could you help me God could you strengthen me the Bible says Saul was so weak that after the witch doctor spoke to him he collapsed physically Saul was emotionally drained and instead of coming to God and strengthen himself in God and then asking God to speak he just came to God and said God give me direction but God says nothing Maybe you're asking God, what do I do next? And you're not hearing God. I would like to give you a word right now. Don't ask God to speak until you have made Him your strength. God speaks to those who made Him their strength. Elijah was so depressed that didn't want to live. God didn't give him any instructions until he fed Elijah. He made him sleep. He restored Elijah and then he gave him a still small voice and then God gave Elijah. This is what you do. This is what you do. This is what you do. Even to the great prophet, God didn't give instruction until he gave inspiration. Don't say, God, what do I do next? First, let God strengthen you. Let God renew you. Let God prosper you in your soul before He prospers you in your relationships, in your finances and in your family. Because sometimes God won't speak because God says you don't need instruction you need strength even Jesus did not hear the leading of the Holy Spirit until the Bible says Jesus was filled with Holy Spirit and then the Spirit led him the Holy Spirit will not lead if Holy Spirit doesn't fill Father will not speak if you don't come to him first and not for directions not for destiny but say Lord renew me lift me up put my feet upon the rock when my heart is overwhelmed I will come to you strengthen me God I pray that you will prosper and be good health as your soul prospers uh, John said even in John chapter 15 it says that the branch in me that doesn't bear fruit Jesus doesn't come and say bear fruit Jesus comes to a branch that doesn't bear fruit and the Bible says he lifts it up so that it will bear fruit in other words God is saying when you're down you don't need directions you need peace when you're empty on the inside you don't need the breakthrough first 
you need a spiritual blessing to repair you on the inside and then God says I will give you instruction because you became my inspiration I became your source of strength and the Bible says David inquired of the Lord and guess what God did he spoke to him I believe a soul that is strengthened is the soul God speaks to and when God speaks it's so beautiful a sense of clarity comes the situation is the same a sense of direction you have a laser focus when God speaks but if God doesn't speak remain in his presence until you can say that about yourself that David said about himself and David strengthened himself in the Lord and then David came and said God give me directions he didn't come to God broken busted grieving distressed and say God what do I do he came to God and say God help me I'm not doing good I'm not doing good I don't know why this is happening I can't blame you I can't blame myself but God help me I'm not gonna make it like this and when God repaired him he came out like a lion laser focus strength came through him his man was still discouraged and he said now guys let's ask God what would he have us do and God spoke clearly he didn't speak to Saul he spoke to David I believe because Saul never sought God as his strength David made God his strength and therefore God spoke to him I just want to encourage you right now make God your strength and God will speak and when he speaks answers will happen